My name's Ross Hannaford and I'm playing Tobias Rag in Sweeney Todd with the Victorian Opera. Tobias Rag is a mischievous scallywag. He probably grew up in the workhouses as a young lad. I, I've chosen to make him an orphan. Some of the choices about the character are my own choices and they're not entirely based in, in fact from, from the script. But as an actor you need to fill in the holes that aren't always in the script. So I've chosen to make him an orphan that grew up in the workhouses. His earliest memory is of having nobody, no parents and just working for his next meal and worrying about where he's going to sleep that night. So being taken in by Signor Pirelli is, is actually a step up for him and even though he's a, an abused, trodden on a slave really, it's actually a step up in, in his status stakes. When he gets taken in by Mrs Lovett, that's the first time in his life that he's been shown love. So f for somebody who's never experienced love in his life at the age of 11 or 12 being shown that for the first time, I imagine you would be feeling like you've, you've come up a fair way on the, on the status of where you are in the world. Though the finest positions in London were called, I awaken one morning amazing the port to discard the dread that me yet was as bald as a novice's name. <laughs> I was dying for shame, till a gentleman came, an illustrious barber, Pirelli by name. Ooh. He gave me a liquid as precious as gold. I rubbed it in daily like what I was told. He goes through a lot of changes in this story. I think he has such an incredible arc. When he's serving Pirelli and he's trying to sell, he's motivated by this fear. So his tone qualities have a lot of uh, sharpness to it and, and pointedness. When he finds Mrs. Lovett and he's found love for the first time in his life, his tone qualities are smooth and soft and subtle and have a lot of air and brush in them. I always imagine him as though there's someone behind him about to whip him. If you have that reaction, then your, your shoulders come up, you hunch and you have this look behind you. And that sort of informed the whole way that I've um, set him up physically. There's this one moment where I have to follow Pirelli around the stage and I just always make sure that I'm a meet, exactly a metre and a half behind him and I don't look out, I only look at his feet because at that point in his life, his only success is defined by Pirelli. For me, he sort of finishes at the top of the heap, really, in comparison to everybody else, which is why it's been so interesting to play somebody who starts here and, and ends in such a different position. It's been an absolute joy to, p to play him. <laughs> Trick, sir. If you got a kick, sir. What about the money? Where is it? Don't get the ready. 